Now, we've just been at an extremely interesting session, but your study was on acute lymphoblastic leukemia using an agent, blinatumumab. Could you tell me about this agent and what you were trying to do and why you were using it in, in a study of acute lymphoblastic leukemia? Yeah, so blinatumumab is a, a new treatment principle uh, which uh, is a B-specific antibody. Um, B-specific means that on one part it is directed to CD19, uh, which is expressed on the surface of the B precursor ALL cells, and the other part is a CD3, uh, which attaches to T cells. And uh, this very small molecule brings the T cells in very close uh, proximity to the target B precursor cells. And um, due to this close proximity, the T cells get activated, um, they start to proliferate, expand, and they start to kill the target cells. Uh, they can uh, kill several target cells, so they attach and detach and kill, make a serial kill, so a very so, effective treatment. So basically, it looks for the cancer cell, but it also looks for the T cell that yes. can kill it. Yes, it brings them together, uh, put it like this, and uh, they let helps the T cells fill, find the target cells. And having done its dirty work against the cancer, it can go off and do more. Yes. I, that's actually the truth, yeah. It sounds marvelous. What did yeah. you do in the study? So in the study, uh, we uh, selected a patient group, uh, patients with MRG-positive ALL. This means they had a relatively low-level disease, so at least below 5%. Um, this sounds uh, at first sight whether it doesn't is not very bad, but these patients uh, have chemotherapy resistant disease. It means um, uh, despite continued chemotherapy normally they would all relapse. And therefore these patients have a very poor prognosis. And we thought that this is a group of patients where we need new experimental drugs because chemotherapy doesn't work. And therefore we selected Binatumab as a potential uh, drug for these patients. What was the protocol for the study? So the protocol was that the patient should receive at least one cycle of linatumumab. One cycle means uh, 28 days continuous infusion of this drug, so with a portable infusion pump. And after one cycle, uh, the primary endpoint was analyzed, and the primary endpoint was uh, MRD complete response after one cycle. This actually means no MRD detectable anymore which presumably you tested by PCR? Yes. And uh, were there any secondary endpoints that you were looking for? Yes, um, so the secondary endpoint was of course uh, the tolerability, so adverse events, and there were a number of other secondary endpoints like long-term survival, remission duration and so on, which cannot be analyzed at this point because the follow-up is not uh, uh, enough. So. At this moment, we focus on the anti-leukemic efficacy, the primary endpoint, and the adverse events. And what were the results? So uh, the result was in 113 evaluable patients was a 78% uh, rate of um, complete MRD response and 85% uh, rate of MRD response. Uh, this means um, that the patients had, some of the patients had um, uh, MRD below 10 to the minus 4. And this is one the efficacy results. Efficacy was seen in all subgroups of the patients. We saw no prognostic factor. It was seen in patients with high MRD level, uh, also with MRD after prior relapse. So um, it was effective in all subgroups. Now, it's a powerful agent. Mm -hmm. What about side effects? Yes. Um, so uh, this, uh, Compound was mainly developed in relapsed refractory ALL, so we know something about the side effects. In this uh, trial, nothing you came up. So there are two types of toxicities, basically. One is related to the cytokine release, like fever, well, the chills and these things. And the other type of toxicity is neurologic uh, toxicity. Um, one is tremor and another is um, encephalopathy type uh, toxicity, for example, which starts with aphasia. Okay, clinically, how, mm. how significant though mm. were these side effects? So most of the side effects were really grade one to two. So it can be handled, particularly neurologic toxicity can be handled by dexamethasone use. But um, in some of the patients, the treatment had to be interrupted. I will show these data also on Monday. And um, this is, of course, something which we would like to avoid. And uh, it was in this trial, we also tried um, to continue the treatment in these patients at a lower dose level. And I think this is a good approach. Mm. What then could be the clinical implications coming mm. out of this? 
So um, the compound is very effective in ALL. Uh, and uh, based on the efficacy in relapsed refractory ALL, it's just been registered by the FDA. So it will be available in the United States um, commercially. Um, for, the, for me, the future of the clinical use is more uh, in earlier phases of treatment, so not after the relapse, but before the relapse, in the MRD setting, but even in the first-line therapy. What are your hopes about translating the benefits that you saw into the long term? I have uh, hopes uh, which are based on our pilot trial where we used uh, the compound in the MRD setting. In this pilot trial we have uh, a number of long-term uh, survivors which did not receive any further chemotherapy, so just bleed to up and remained in long-term remission. And in this trial we also observed very good results after the subsequent stem cell transplantation. Mm. So this no. creates my hope that uh, we will find similar results in this trial. If you get removal of the molecule, so molecularly zero, the mm. disease doesn't seem to be there, uh, could you stop taking the bispecific antibody? Uh, do you have possibly a cure? Um, no, I think we have always to speak about a certain detection level. Even if a patient is MRD negative, it doesn't mean that there are no blast cells anymore, unfortunately. This is again a detection level which is very sensitive, 0.01%, but blast cells are still present. They can also be present outside of the bone marrow, for example. So uh, it is still open how many cycles we need uh, of blinatumumab, how long it has to be continued, whether we also need further chemotherapy, for example. So these are things which remain to be uh, evaluated. What then should doctors take home from this? They should take home that we have a very potent uh, uh, drug here which is active against acute lymphoblastic leukemia and if the results are confirmed we, it can really change uh, the, the standard treatment uh, of ALL.